Hi everybody, Florida Trailblazer. Exploring the history and wilderness of Florida. Today I'm at Crystal River Archaeological Site. A place of history here in Florida. And there's a nice museum here behind me. A lot of artifacts and historical information. But today, unfortunately, it's closed. We're going to take a walk around the park though and take a look at some of the scenery, history in the area. Crystal River and enduring legacy. The ancient natives who built these mounds lived at Crystal River for more than a thousand years from 50 AD to 1050 AD. And this sign has a illustration depicting how the natives once lived in these areas and hunted. The sacred pre-Columbian cereal mound complex. Here's the facility where the museum is. Closed at this time. It's really neat to visit if you ever get a chance when it's open. Around the area are many trails, historical sites to observe here. A separate resting place, Sand Burial Mound G. The burials located here shared little in common with those from the main burial complex. On the other side of the plaza, the people buried here had no elaborate grave goods, but were laid to rest with shells, bone tools, and pottery. You can see part of the mound here. It's a really neat place to visit, explore some history. You can see all these Indian mounds in the area. Taking a journey back into the past, let me explore this place. Here's an interesting mound, temple or stage, flat top mound and plaza. Imagine watching a sermon, speech, or performance atop the mound in front of you as you stand among members of your family and community in the flat open plaza. Very interesting. Artifacts like these decorated pottery fragments give us clues to the sorts of religious beliefs and sacred symbols that might have played a part in the ceremonies held at the Crystal River site. You can see part of the mound here. Such an amazing site, exploring this ancient Indian village. And it's nice that it's preserved and still here all these years later. You can come here and experience and learn about the history. See some of the Indian mounds around the complex here. Walking along some of the paths here at the park. Really nice and you can see another mound just up ahead. Main burial complex. Have you ever visited a cemetery? The mounds and raised features here are a graveyard for Native Americans who buried their dead at this site 1,000 to 3,000 years ago. The large central mound contains the graves of people buried with gifts, showing they had contact with places and people from far away, or may have themselves come from distant places. Fascinating. You can see here on the sign Some of the items discovered, these mounds. Here's a very interesting site, Mystery in Stone. 
It's a carved stone slab that was discovered in 1964. You can see a photo here. An impossible human carved outline in red. Erosion from plant growth and exposure to weather has caused the carving on this limestone boulder to become less clear over time. Examples of human figures from other Florida archaeological sites of a similar age to Crystal River. You can see here. And check this out. You can see the stone here. The face in the stone. Can you see an outline? Look closely here. Such a beautiful area here along the river. Today it's also a place of activity. Very popular for fishing, boating. This is an amazing mound here. Main mound. Much like an arena or stadium in a big city, Mound A served as a symbol of grandeur that would impress visitors to the site. From the flat top of the mound, public performances, speakers, or ceremonies would have been on display for those below, while also providing those on the mound with a commanding view of the surrounding area. see size of the mound today, the original size of mound. Mound A stood intact for over a thousand years. Let's walk up on top of this mound. As I'm approaching the top of this mound, you truly do get a commanding view of the surrounding areas along the river. you're up here you can see some of the formations of this mound it's incredible you can see where it drops off there this would have been much taller at one time on top of the mound take a look at these views surrounding marshes and river. Amazing being up here on this mound. For many centuries, natives had these same views the surrounding marshes and river. These mounds were taller at one time and long ago when natives were in these areas. 
explorers, people coming down the river, you could see these bounds from far away. And in fact, many sailors in the old times would use these mounds as navigation points on the rivers and waterways throughout Florida. Paths here lead you out to the river. A place to call home. This is a midden area. In this area, more than a thousand years ago, people built their homes, raised their families, made tools, and prepared meals. All this human activity created a midden or built up area made of the bits and pieces from their everyday lives. And you can see part of the midden here.